This is the video lesson for velocity versus speed. The learning intention for this lesson is, I am learning to define velocity and speed and distinguish between average and instantaneous velocity. The success criteria for this lesson are, I can define velocity, I can define speed, and I can distinguish between average and instantaneous velocity. So how do we define velocity? So velocity is a displacement of an object over a certain period of time. And we call that the average velocity. And then the velocity of an object at an instant in time is called the instantaneous velocity. So we could think of this as if you're driving a car at 60 miles an hour, you're going north, 60 miles an hour north at that moment that you look at your speedometer and you see that you're going 60 miles per hour at that moment, that's the instantaneous velocity. And velocity is a vector quantity. So it's important that you have both the speed or the, the magnitude of the velocity as well as the direction that you're going in. So what are some units that we can use to talk about velocity? So velocity is a distance over a time. So we could say meters per second or kilometers per hour or miles per hour, Oops, miles per hour. Any of those units would be uh, good velocity units. We're gonna mostly use my meters per second in this class. So how do we differentiate speed from velocity? So speed is a change of position divided by time. So it's similar to velocity, but it's not, this, uh, it's not the same thing. Speed is a scalar quantity. So that's the big difference between speed and velocity is that velocity is a, a vector and speed is a scalar. And you can think of speed as the magnitude of velocity. So we'll often talk about the speed uh, <clears throat> as, a, as a magnitude of velocity. So we'll give a velocity to start with, and then we'll just talk about the speed of that, of that velocity. So we won't be talking then about the direction that the velocity is going in. But speed can also just be thought of as kind of like the generic change of position divided by the time. So you go a certain distance, you divide that by the time that it took to go that to go that distance, and that's your speed. We're not gonna we're not gonna talk about the the direction that we went in because it's a scalar quantity. All right, let's look at a couple of quick examples of velocity. So first, we're gonna look at some average velocity examples. So we can start with looking at a car. Apologize for my terrible drawing of a car. So the car starts at zero meters and it drives to 225 meters and it takes 20 seconds to go there. So we have, if we look at um, a simplified version of a velocity equation, we have our final position, x sub f minus x sub i. So that's final position minus initial position divided by the time it took to get there. So our final position would be 225. Our initial position would be zero. So we have 225 meters minus zero meters divided by the time it took, which would be 20 seconds. We do that uh, quick math and we end up with 11.25 meters per second. So that would be our average velocity for that trip of 225 meters. We also have an instantaneous velocity. So the instantaneous velocity would be some velocity that this car made, that this car reached on the way to uh, going this two, 225 meters. Maybe the car reached uh, a speed or a velocity of say 12, 12 meters per second on the way. So a velocity of 12 meters per second on the way. 
that was an instantaneous velocity. It started at zero meters per second uh, because it was stopped and it got up to 12 meters per second, but it's, and its average velocity was 11.25 meters per second. But uh, at some point on the drive, it got up to 12 meters per second for its, for some point. It's important to note that velocity again is a, is a vector. So this all went in a direction. So we could say that the zero is from, let's say left and it drove towards the right. So it went 11.25 meters rightward, meters per second rightward, so that we have a direction. Now let's look at a speed. So the speed we could look at as just being the 11.25 meters per second. So just the magnitude of this average velocity. So it doesn't have the it doesn't have the direction involved in it. It's just the magnitude is just the scalar quantity of the average velocity. Okay, everybody keep asking questions. It's how you learn new things.